In 1985, a TV show aired in the U.S., which was to have an indelible impression on me and countless other aspiring young magicians. Hosted by Bill Bixby, it was called The Wonderful World of Magic. And each week, Bill would present three or four different acts from dozens of top contemporary magicians. One performer who stood out for me was Richard Ross, a three-time world champion. His unique innocence and charm, coupled with grace, style, and masterful manipulations, were pure magic. A few years later, I met Richard and his lovely wife, Veronique, at the 1982 FISM convention in Lausanne, Switzerland. At the after party, we struck up a conversation, shared some stories and some wine. He was a kindred spirit, quick-witted, playful, and happy-go-lucky. Two years later, I received a surprise phone call from him, inviting me to headline the Dutch Magic Convention. And so began 17 whirlwind years of fun and friendship. It was a gala weekend in Den Haag, with Richard acting as the grand impresario and ringmaster, even vanishing an elephant on stage. The after party was held at the Magic Arts Center, which had just recently opened and I could never have guessed I would return to this intimate, magical cabaret so many times. Three months later, we performed together in Versailles at the French Magic Congress. The following year, we met in Vienna, where I was performing at the Theater an der Wien with Peter Kirsten. And just a month later, we were all in Madrid as headliners on the FISM 1985 World Congress. The following year, while I was living in Paris and performing at the Alcazar de Paris, he and Veronique were performing nearby at the world-famous Crazy Horse. And when you were with Richard, the party never stopped. In the spring of 86, we performed together in Monte Carlo at the Theatre Princess Grace, where we attended a formal dinner at the Royal Palace with Prince Renier and Princess Stephanie. Over the next 15 years, we met again countless times at magic events around the world or back at the Magic Art Center. With each of these meetings, our friendship grew stronger and the mutual respect solidified. Sadly, Richard died suddenly at the age of 55. With his passing, the world of magic lost a grand master and a true gentleman. And I, along with so many others, lost a dear friend. However, he lives in me in every show that I do. You see, Richard unknowingly taught me how to experience and communicate wonder on stage. The unique innocence that he had when an effect was performed was not a smart, look what I can do, or ha ha, figure that out attitude. It was instead a childlike amazement as the magic happened. He would look out and simply smile as if to say, wow. Did you see that? And that was the real magic of Richard Ross. And in this simple way, he will always remain in my heart.